Hello my fellow Retromaniacs and welcome to Let's Read Castlevania Symphony of the Night Instruction Booklet for PlayStation. Yeah, I, I like reading old manuals. They usually have a, a nice uh, background art, some maybe pre-rendered or hand-drawn uh, art or graphics. And sometimes you can even uh, learn new things from the game by reading the manual or at least the guidebook. So yeah, and that that's also the reason that, that I usually like to read the manuals after playing the game and finishing, finishing it bit because they tend to spoil most of the game. So they spoil um, not only the items, probably the characters and some some even spoil the bosses so yeah if you want to play the game totally blind don't read the manual so yeah symphony of the night my uh, maybe my favorite game of all time at least in the top five Sorry. Uh, okay, we got um, not not very long manual, but I think uh, twenty pages. It's like uh, it's like average. And it usually depends on the game. So if you have like a a strategy game or simulation game it tends to have uh, more pages and if it's uh, like action game or like side scroller game then you probably don't need that many pages to explain everything so here we have a little we have concise controls here yeah, this was before a dual shock was invented and uh, so uh, yeah this is not very intuitive way to show the controls it would be better if it has like the controller view here and then showing the showing the functions richter controls for the final stage only. This button the settings cannot be changed from the menu. Oh, okay. So yeah. Super attack. Hold down. Grandis whip slide. Back somersault. I didn't know about that. On the other hand, it, it doesn't really matter because it's like a few minutes and then you're playing Alucard. So yeah, use weapon. Uh, crowds, sitting chair, <laughs> very, very important move in the game. Uh, use pistol weapons. Shape shift in the bat. Spoilers. Shape shift in the mist. But then there was there was those um, like special moves. How do you use those? Double jump. Okay, we got prologue. It was Richter. Belmont, uh, the legendary vampire hunter who succeeded in finally ending the menace of Count Dracula, lord of the vampires who had been brought back from the grave by the dark priest Shaft. Shaft? Who's the back... Shut your mouth. Shaft? 
Shaft. However, one night four years later, under the glare of a full moon, Richter, 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 Richter mysteriously vanished, with no idea of where to begin her, her, oh, her search, Maria Renard. I was thinking that they was <laughs> referring Richter as her. Maria Renard set out to look for him. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula. Wait a second. Oh, I never. <laughs> now I have to admit that I never thought. I never knew that uh, the castle itself is called Castlevania. I just thought the Castlevania is the name of the game. Because why? Why would you name your castle as Castle? And what's the Vania? Okay. Uh, which is rumored to appear once every century. Suddenly, Matthew realized from out of the mist, as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces were struggling for the soul of a man named Alucard. The very same Alucard who had teamed up with the Trevor Belmont to battle his immortal father, Count Vlad Tibis Dracula. You need to know some of the back backstory and previous games here. Alucard, in order to purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, had submerged his vampiric powers and entered into what was supposed to be an, an eternal slumber. But now he is awake and aware of the evil once again at work in his homeland. The time has once again come for the forces of good and evil to engage in their ancient battle. Dracula's, Dracula's castle becomes you. And no man can say who shall emerge victorious. Char characters, Alucard. So was Alucard in a Ronda, Ronda of Blood? I'm, I'm not quite sure. Is this the first appearance for Alucard? Real name, Adrian Fahrenheit. Tips, tips, tips. Why Fahrenheit? That's supposed to be like a surname, not middle name. Age estimated to be 400 years old. Okay, where have you been? Some slumber. The offspring of an unnatural union between Count Dracula and a human woman. Alucard possesses inhuman strength and dark magical powers. His weapon of choice is a sword, and he uses a variety of them to serve his needs. He is an adept shapeshifter, commonly using the forms of wolf, bat, and mist to confuse and terrify his opponents. Although you cannot uh, use any of those shapeshift uh, features in, in the beginning of the game, even before uh, the death takes them away. So, I don't know. Alucard also relies heavily on ancient rel relics and magical items to perform elaborate magical attacks. Richter Belmont, age 24. Every generation of Belmont clan has produced tougher, more dedicated vampire hunters yet. Hunters. Yet, Richter stands above all others, brandishing the legendary sacred whip, cool whip, which so many of his predecessors wielded. This hot-blooded youth pushed Dracula to the brink, then, with an almost indestructible will to survive and emerge victorious, Richter defeated Dracula in a massive battle five years ago. However, he has been missing for, for a year, vanishing mysteriously under the light of a full moon. Maria Renard, age 17. Uh, she looks pretty... Uh, developed for a 17-year-old. As Richter's sister-in-law, mm -hmm. 
wait a second so her sister is who's who's the sister wait a second uh, it's wait a second. sister-in-law so Richter Belmont is married and his wife has a sister who's the wife as Richter's sister-in-law Maria is not Belmont by blood but she has the fierce fiery determi determination determination of a vampire hunter coursing through her veins. She aided Trister five years ago in the defeat of Dracula uh, when she was twelve and has vowed to find him now that he has vanished. Shortly after beginning her search, however, the ancient Castlevania returned to the earth, earthly plane. Fearlessly she entered the castle alone. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, he was in like a PC Engine CD game, you run of blood, you you can save, it's like optional, you can save Maria multiple times and have a like good ending. Death. This evil spirit is an ally of Dracula's, which should come as a surprise to no one familiar with the Count's nocturnal activities. Yeah, this is very cool this art style i haven't uh, seen the castlevania anime but i don't think it actually follows the story of uh, of of at least symphony of the night maybe there are some cameos by richter or maybe some other generation richters but yeah it i don't know i don't know how good uh, Good, like a series or movie you could base on on Symphony of the Na Night alone but yeah with this art style if this if, if there was like a hand-drawn animation that used this kind of art style I, I would be I would be watching it for that reason alone master librarian he's the keeper of the library in Dracula's castle he has accumulated a wealth of knowledge over the centuries and some special items as well, which he will part with the for, for a price. So how come the librarian is not evil when everything else is like enemies? I don't know. Why, 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 is, why is it that some kind of wizard that wants to kill you? <laughs> weird, weird uh, employee. By, by Dracula, Count Dracula, real name Dracula Vlad Tibis. I think that's the, like the real name in in the in the book of uh, who was the writer. The name escapes my my mind at the moment. Um, Dracula, written by. I can't remember at the moment. Age estimated to be 800 years old. He has been known by many names through the ages, but no matter what you choose to call him, one truth remains. He is the embodiment of all that is dark and evil. He is father of Alucard and master of Castlevania, the dark castle steeped in terror and black magic it is said to appear on the human plane of existence once every 100 years though richter destroyed castlevania and its evil landlord five years ago it has, has reappeared without warning but you know we know it's shaft in the end you have to kill in the in omni cube lisa alucard's mother and Dracula's wife. She is the only woman Dracula has ever loved, yet for some reason he, he had chosen not to take away her human form and bring her over to the dark ranks of the vampire. 
She was a good, kind-hearted soul who was mistakenly executed as a witch for preparing medicine to help the sick. You yeah, know, no spoilers about the ending. Shaft, shaft, starting the game. Okay, rules. You are Alucard. Raging through you is the hunger and bloodlust of your vampire father and the gentle emphatic compassion of your human mother. As you have tried to come to terms with that constant internal struggle, you have recognized an outer, str outer struggle as well, the need to destroy Castlevania and bury the demon demons both within the castle and within your soul. On your mission, you will discover ancient re relics that will open new paths to you. Hidden weapons and magical items from a time long forgotten will be uncovered. Some weapons and items have restricted use. You must earn hearts to enable them. As, you, as your quest continues, you will encounter myriad monsters and dark forces who will challenge your progress. Every victory gives you experience, which yields power and strength. Gradually you will be able to face and defeat stronger and stronger foes. When you receive damage you will lose of your life force, some of your life force. Because you are half human you can de be defeated more easily than your father. If your life drains to zero the start screen will reappear and if you have saved the game in progress, you can resume play from the last saved location. So you got that. Special weapons, magic weapons. Name of the enemy character requires a special item. Maps green. You haven't visited. It's only visible when you acquire a special item. Save location. Teleport rooms. Spoilers. Circle of light. In the circle of light. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, when I played uh, uh, Japanese Sega Saturn version, uh, this, this was a little bit difficult because, like, all the relics and spells and items were in Japanese, so I didn't know what to what to equip so um, number of rooms you have visited number of enemies you have defeated it says beat here it says kills okay constitution how strong your body is defense power Intelligence, magic attack, power, luck, critical hits. Yeah, I don't know why in like when I played the Saturn version, I would uh, in one of the underground sewer levels, I would like have level up each time I killed an enemy. So I leveled up like 30 levels within a few minutes. So that was crazy. The whole game become became very easy after that, so I don't know if that was like a bug. You shouldn't be able to level up that easily. So, uh, spells, relics, familiars. When you want to use a familiar, you select one of from amongst your relics. Items, dollar packs. Equip mints. Yeah. Left and right hands of Alucard. A sword can be equipped in one hand and a shield in the other. Some items require both hands. Certain items like the shuriken are expendable and can be only be used once. Yeah, I never really bothered using those uh, expendable 
items like dynamites or like scrolls or whatever you had just to slow down if you have to go to the menu and then equip it and then use it once and then you have to go back to the menu and select another weapon so yeah club weapons some equipment can work together to create a tremendous special attack experiment with different combos when acquiring new items cube of so allow items to appear when you destroy candles Double, second jump there are many other relics these are just a few of them yeah they show a fairy scroll spirit orb gas cloud spoilers fire up bat special weapons you can only possess one special weapon at a time when you pick on a new one, these special weapons, the old one will be tossed aside. It will remain on the screen for a moment before vanishing, so that you may retrieve it if you change your mind about which item you'd like to possess, or if you accidentally pick up a new item. That happens so often. You will need to use some of your hearts to use these weapons. The number of hearts needed depend on the weapon. But then you can use those like special attacks like uh, teleportation and cape fire and uh, where are they I think they are like yeah these are spells okay so we have a rebound I, I would usually just use the knife especially when you use it with the uh, uh, turbo controller it makes it very useful be pretty holy ashes yeah, you hardly find this agunea strikes enemies with sacred lightning can continue attack by holding down at the attack buttons on the heart so go, uh, yeah, this, this, this must be very rare. I don't even remember this. Yeah, clock is quite useful. I think the rebound stone is one of the worst. Because most of the time it would just like hit Mr. Mr enemy or only damage it once so the weapons have an additional effect when attacking enemies some effects such as fire ice and or poison may do additional damage spells the ancient castle has been used for dark purposes for eons the magic contained inside it is powerful inside it is powerful you may learn some of the spells during your quest. Casting the spells is a trial and error process. Use the spells sp submenu to select spells. Casting them consumes magic power, but not hearts. Spells are not necessary to accomplish your mission, but they may make some tasks easier. Yeah, I would use this quite limitedly. Lucard may suffer the following effects when hit by special enemy attacks. Tune. Rapidly hit the directional buttons left and right to free him. The hammer can be used to free him immediately. What hammer? What are you talking about? Poison. Use the anti-venom equipment to 
immediately ne- not neutralized poison cursed use the uncursed potion okay other functions will become available after you acquire certain items like what rooms Dracula's home is a labyrinth of great rooms ghastly corridors and twisted tunnels when you obtain special relics new routes and hidden rooms may become accessible to you even rooms you've already visited if you notice an unusual area during your mission revisit it after discovering new relics you may find new adventures ahead final stage bloodlines entering castlevania marble gallery Lookout point. What mystery does the telescope help unravel? Look inside and see. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I didn't really get what was the thing. There was the raft dude. So I don't know. And there's the oh, owl here. So yeah, there's there might be some secrets I have never like figured out, even though I played the game multiple times. But uh, in order to get all 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 the secrets, you probably need the like guide book, which I may actually read at least glance at some other time. Yeah, especially the library. I would I usually wouldn't buy the stuff beside the to do beside the ring you need in order to get to the upside down or upside down castle so um, listen to the music of Castlevania save rooms if you want to save your progress without overriding your current game press up and then press triangle notes okay so yeah they don't like spoil you about the upside down castle and what to do in order to access it which is quite uh, quite tricky to like figure out yourself you know I, when i first played the game i didn't know how to unlock it so yeah so that's that's all there is not too spoiling manual and not too not too um, interesting they don't like have uh, enemies There's some nice art style here like yeah, these uh, these enemies here are shown. Alucard looks quite sickly there. There he is. But yeah, not too too many like too many like pictures. We <laughs> have Silent Hill trailer here. But yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.